What's up guys? It's another night with no Maxwell, with no October patch. So here we have an old video of me showing off my units for Zelen Thunder Vortex. Um, yep, so basically all anima, all SBB10 with some sort of crazy gem or jewel sphere. That's the word I'm looking for, sphere. Um, yeah, no. Life is sad right now with no Maxwell. After all the hype yesterday from the from the screenshot that was posted on their Facebook, and then like the maintenance thing saying fixing server errors with Maxwell on it, and then there was so much hype and then nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's a sad night. Anyways, back in reality here. What are we expecting for the October updates? Um, I think we can speculate on some things. Okay, so there should be a new continent called rickshaw or something like that um it's gonna have a new map called lanara there's some patch notes that people might have found on app invasion actually and that's where i'm kind of reading these from but the thing is i don't know how legitimate these notes are actually um because i mean all these notes here you can pretty much speculate just from what japan got so i don't want to discredit the person who posted this but i also don't want to um say that they're completely correct because there are other things that might come out for example the 1000 unit space cap might come out i don't know um it came out sometime in japan maybe a little bit later than the maxwell patch i think quite a bit later but i mean it could come out you don't know that because like the three energy thing came out for um for whatever reason, out of the blue. So there's a possibility there. Another thing we might be looking at is um, so in town to fuse or synthesize items, there's a fe feature um, in the future where you can just hold down the, f the synthesize button and then a bunch of them will synthesize um, at some sort of rate instead of going like, click the button once and one piece at a time and it takes you like half an hour to fuse all your stuff and sell it. Yeah, those high level problems. Anyways, some new other dungeons that we might be expecting are all those like special side quest dungeons in each map. And they're pretty great too because so I'm pretty sure Sphere Frogs and Statums are coming out in the next patch. Like I'm almost like 100% certain. We'll say like 99.99% certain. And these new maps are actually going to be the home of some side quests where if you beat them, you get a Sphere Frog. And Sphere Frogs are great. They let you use another Sphere on a unit. And I don't know what to say more about that, but... When the patch hits, I think there's a maximum of four spheres we can potentially get. So there's going to be one for Frontier Hunter. When that comes out sometimes next week, it should at least. Another speculation, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get it. Um, and then the three from these quests. So who am I going to put these sphere frogs on? I don't know. I wanted to put one on Maxwell, but thinking about it now, it's like, is there is there any point to put on Maxwell right now? I mean, she's already such a strong unit, and... What's going to benefit me the most with four sphere frogs, I think, is my arena team. Just because I need to, I want to win an arena, and there's not going to be any content hard enough that I can't clear with my current team already. I mean, if I'm going to Maxwell with a team without any sphere frog units, so I'm not going to use any on any of my units for Maxwell because I'm confident that I will be able to complete it without them, then there's no harder content out there. Maybe Frontier Hunter, but. I'm pretty sure we can clear it without Sphere Frog units. Anyways, so yeah, um, that's what I'm planning to do with my Sphere Frogs once I get them. Um, we're supposed to get some new spheres as well. Apparently one's called like, the Heavenly Wing Sword. It's like the upgraded version of Angelic Foil. It's 75% tech, 20% crit. Um, and then, I don't know, like I guess some other spheres that haven't rung any major bells in my mind. Maybe some town facility upgrades, like force or whatever. You know what I really hope comes in this patch? The unlocking of arena battle points. Because, so, there's no cap right now. So there's the top units, or the top players are a little over a million right now. I'm sitting somewhere around 940, 950k. And we're so far above, like, the last rank, which was Chaos, that by the time the arena patch hits, like, I'm going to have, like, 10 free spheres when I enter the arena. Um just from all the ranks that we've gone up right now. And I really hope that comes out soon because, I mean, it kind of sucks that when I roll in Arena for a new opponent, I'm finding guys like 300, 400,000 points 
below me, which I'm obviously not going to fight because if I beat them, I only get 10 points. So I really hope that's coming out. Um, and another thing that might come out is Gift Expiry. Apparently there were some strings um, for the messages for Gift Expiry. And in Japan right now, if you don't claim a gift in your box, it expires after 30 days. So be wary, that might be something that comes out in the future patch. Anytime, I'm pretty sure it's going to come probably like Friday or hopefully I wake up tomorrow and it's there because God, life is wasting away because I am addicted to this game. Anyways, <laughs> more about my sad life there, playing Brave Frontier all day. Um, but yeah, so that's what I think is coming out. Um, nothing's guaranteed though. Everything I say is speculation and hopefully it comes out soon because I will see you guys next time.